Now, now again, one important part of continuity and discontinuity is checking whether a particular limit exists or no. I told you there are two ways of checking continuity and whether a function is discontinuous for a given value. So one important way is if a particular the value of the function or the limit of the function does not exist for a particular value of x because the left hand limit and right hand limit may not be the same then in such a case also the function does not have a particular limit at that particular value of x. Another way of checking of course limit again as usual is to check whether the function is determinate or not determinate at a particular value. Say a very good example which we have taken even earlier as a reminder we have x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. So if you look at it this way x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 this as various you keep if you put x as 2 over here you will find that the function becomes meaningless. But if you consider values, if you consider these values, that is 2, you are approaching 2 from 1.5, from lower values, that is your from smaller values you are bringing, we call this as a left hand limit. When you take x as minus 1 point, this is not minus 1.5, this side is called negative side because it is considering values of x lesser than x and you are bringing it closer. Any value closest to 2 but little less than 2. So you call that as left hand limit. 1.5 you get 3.5 and you have taken you substitute 1.9 in this function. You get 3.9 and when you take it 1.999 you get 3.99. But you see that the function value of the function is going closer and closer towards 4. That means the limiting value of the function is 4. On the contrary, you start from 2.5 and move towards 2. This is called the right hand limit. As you move from a bigger value, value bigger than 2 and go close and close to 2. So we start with x is 2.5, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001. You, you find that even this way, the limit is the value of the function is getting closer and closer to 4. Only thing is the value of four, the function is more than 4. But ultimately the limit is 4. That means ultimately the limit exists in such a case. So either we substitute values like this or the other way as you say we as we have done earlier we factorize this x minus 2 into x plus 2 upon x minus 2. This gets cancelled and you get f of x is equal to x plus 2. That means the function ultimately turns into a determinate function x plus 2. So in that case limit as x tends to 2. Whether you take it minus or you take it plus. That is left in limit whether you take it from an x or smaller value or you take it to the both of these f of x is going to be f of 2 which is going to be 4. In both the cases it turns out to be 4. You look at it from this logic or you look at it from this logic both ways the value of the function is getting close to 4 and hence the limit of the function is 4. So we say that such a function's limit exists when x is equal to 2.